Sunday, October 16th, 2011. Silver price just over $32 per ounce. Gold at 1680 per ounce. And uh, I have an unboxing of another purchase of precious metals. Again, this is from uh, China Gold. Reputable and that's why I keep going back even though the premiums are uh, a little higher but you know you've got to go with a dealer that's got the product you want as well as uh, has a decent price and for that reason um, I may be going back more often nice uh, wood box here that this particular purchase comes in I think it's a nice touch um, ounce silver panda and 2011 gold panda 1 20th ounce I like the fractional uh, gold pieces simply because um, like I've said many times when gold hits six seven eight even ten thousand an ounce which it has a good chance of doing on its current trajectory um, you're going to need some fractional pieces to sell off or trade and you don't want to be involved in the new reporting um, for the uh, tax IRS which is happening uh, come I believe January 2012 uh, the form 1080 you have to report any bullion sale of above 600 US dollars I believe so these small one tenth and one twenty ounce coins are going to um, be quite valuable to trade and to um, keep away from the eye of Uncle Sam, so to speak, because as we all know, Uncle Sam does not have your best interest in mind. Okay, Uncle Sam's in a cash grab at this time, trying to reduce unsustainable debt and it's only a matter of time before it becomes mathematically impossible to continue to operate. There are several states in the United States right now, municipalities that are in dire straits and can no longer function without a bailout. Um, they're in debt, they're bankrupt, and um, they can't function on a day-to-day -day basis. So uh, that trend is continuing not just in the United States but in Europe and practically every other country except for uh, several of these Asian countries so uh, the price on this was not bad um, it comes in a nice case and I can add it to my other um, gold and silver that I have here in China uh, to the stuff that I have in the United States and that's what I'm doing every month every month I'm buying and um, you should be too, no matter if it's, uh, you know, every month you can only afford one ounce of silver, buy one ounce of silver. Every month you can only afford a fractional gold piece, buy it. Every month, uh, if you're in China or a place that sells it by the gram, definitely buy it by the gram. Just keep accumulating month to month. It's really the only thing that you can do to retain your wealth because um, my knowledge is more than most people uh, when it comes to this, when it comes to personal finance and um, gold, silver, and other investments for the individual. But for some people, they don't have that knowledge and they don't really know what to do. So it's your job really as a responsible person and someone that actually cares about uh, the general public and really despises what they're doing on Capitol Hill and despises what the bankers are doing. It's your responsibility to educate other people. And if you have to buy them an ounce, buy them an ounce, say here, 
you know, this is what you should be doing. Hold it in your hand. It's real money. They'll catch on, you know. Um, I wish you could buy grams of gold in the States because those make for really nice gifts. They're not terribly expensive yet. And um, having that in your hand is something that's different than preaching to an audience that may not be receptive to um, the education you're trying to give them. To add to this, what I did is I got another one of those 8 gram silver necklaces. This is actually for this year. This is Year of Rabbit. It's just like the Year of Tiger necklace that I showed you. It's from Shanghai Gold Coin Investment Company Limited. Find silver 0.999, 8 gram, shgci.com. And it's pretty much the same. Saw it. I like it. The price is right. And um, you can't go wrong. What else are you going to do with 100 RMB in your pocket if you've got everything else in order? So, yeah, uh, I like to window shop a lot. Uh, so I go, I walk around everywhere, every city that I travel to. Uh, I'm always looking at what's going on. Um, and uh, so I see it, buy it. I'm happy to have it. And finally, this is something a little different. I have a couple pieces, but this is really for women. It's from um, a famous jewelry store chain in China. And it is Jade. Okay, the Jade bracelet. And Jade, um, as gold and silver, is a commodity and has a store of value. It's excellent. Jade has been going up dramatically over the past five years or so. Uh, it really has taken off. This is a uh, light green Jade bracelet. You can pay anywhere from, you know, about thousand RMB on up to many many thousand RMB depending on the jade quality color and where you purchase it um, it's really kind of only a, a Chinese thing as far as I know jade necklaces and bracelets uh, are everywhere and I've never seen them really in other countries like that I've seen them in figurines or carvings uh, as they are here as well but most people don't wear jade as uh, jewelry so there it is. Those are three purchases um, that I've got most recently. And um, let me know what you think. Um, I know that uh, supply is in short and that people are having trouble getting what they want to get at. But, um, you know, when you see something, take it down, um, hold it. You can uh, go to uh, goldshark.com is a one website you can use to compare prices for the major bullion dealers online. Do price comparisons. Go to your local coin dealer and give me a uh, email. If you want me to find something here for you, I'm more than happy to do it. I'll, I'll let you know what I know and um, try and figure out some way for you to get uh, some pandas if that's what your thing is. I highly recommend them. So uh, until next time, thanks a lot.